in a way, I've been writing all my life. Um, from when I was just a little kid, I always remember sort of loving reading, and I always remember sort of just writing. When I'm when I'm reading novels, and they, they sort of read so much to me, and I love them so much. I suppose it's just that thing where you know I wanted to be able to sort of create something that wonderful in the same way that um, you know I love music and I love I love art. So if, you know, whenever I, I hear a fantastic song, and I think. I'd like to do that. I'd like to be somebody who can create something that, that fantastic. But there are quite a lot of similarities to sort of um, to any other sort of addiction, really. <laughs> you know, if you don't do it, you miss it. And when you're actually doing it, you just kind of you're lost, and it's the most wonderful feeling in the world. With Black Rabbit Summer, I think the very first sort of spark of an idea, I was out with my dogs and saw a group of sort of young, ten, eleven-year-old boys just passing by on bikes and stuff and it was a lovely summer's day and it sort of reminded me of those nostalgic golden age summers when you're 10, 11 years old and with your group of friends and you're just doing that kind of those kind of young kid things. And the book basically begins with, it's, it's a group of 16 year olds who used to be, used to have that very close little gang relationship but they've all drifted apart. They decide to sort of get up, um, to, to all get together again for a final sort of meeting. They meet up, decide to go to a fairground on a Saturday night, very hot, sultry, thundery summer's night. And there's a lot of sort of strange dynamics between these kids who haven't seen each other or been very close to each other for a long time. And all the old kind of loves and enmities and jealousies start coming out. And in the sort of the chaos, the sort of drunken, uh, mad and chaos of the fairground, things start happening and the, the story progresses. Um, goes downhill from there <laughs> for them. I, I, I think the worst, most dangerous thing you can try and do if you're sort of writing for young people, and you're not a young person yourself, is to try and sort of, um, you know, research teenagers or, you know, get down with the kids and sort of try and, be, because you can't, you know, I'm nearly 50 years old, I'm not a teenager. Um, but I, you know, I know what's going. I know what's going on, and I just, I just write about teenagers as, as people, you know, because that's what they are. They're just, they're just sort of people who haven't lived as long as me, and you know, I think that's pretty basic stuff, really. <laughs>